um, how to best start this video. Hi. Right, chill. Chill. I don't want to look at the camera, man, because the camera making me nervous. I've always been an ectomorph. It's basically someone who has a high metabolic rate, you have high metabolism. I've always been skinny all the way until my late teens to my 20s and things weren't going to change for me. I couldn't even do one pull up. I couldn't even do a dip. Uh, that's how weak I was. What I decided to do was change that and it's been two years that I've been going to the gym. Okay, so what was the aim? The aim for me was just to get bigger. I didn't really care about how, I just wanted to get bigger. Now I'm going to share a video for you to see. Uh, this is just a one year transformation and after that I will add up until now. Three. comment after that video now by no chance am I a fitness guru or something and I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who've got better results but for me the main thing is as long as I'm a better person than I was yesterday physically and mentally that's the main thing and I think that to be honest a lot of people go into the gym and they compare each other I mean I do it compare with other people and think wow I wish I was like that guy but you need to focus on where you want to be. So my lifestyle when I was going to the gym mainly consisted of working out three times per week and then moved up to five. Um, so I started off with three and I tried to do two body parts. Then I moved up to five and then I started working out muscles individually. One day chest, one day shoulders, one day back, one day bicep, tricep and one day legs. When I was at the gym, I would focus on compound exercises, pull-ups, bench press, squats, deadlifts, lunges, um, and that was really helpful. And that consisted of me doing it five times per week um, up until now. What was very, very, very important was also the eating, if not more important, because the muscle needs energy and it needs to replenish. So I used to eat a lot when I was bulking, as you can see in that picture. I didn't eat that in all one day, but that was like prepared for like five meals, including breakfast. And after those meals, I would always have eggs as well. Then I decided, okay, I want to lean out because it got to one point where I just got really fat and I had a massive gut. So I had a really, <laughs> a really big double chin. It was like uh, um, so I thought okay now it's time to change okay so now basically I'm going to share some before and after photos starting off with my arms my arms is something I've always been really insecure about I would never really wear t-shirts I would always wear full sleeve shirts anyways here's the before and here's the after now moving on to my chest, I've always been skinny fat as well, so here's the before 
and here's the after. So now I'm just going to share a video for you to see uh, from behind of my back. This is a picture from before. So this is my back after. The whole process of transforming my body. I thought in the beginning that if I had a certain body or a certain image, I will feel much better about myself and I would lose all my insecurities. But to be honest with you, what really gave me the confidence uh, from all of that was the fact that I was consistent and the fact that I put the effort in and the fact that I wasn't afraid to work hard. Those traits really, really gave me confidence, not necessarily the body image. Now, I don't have a six pack, but for me, my goal isn't to be a guy with a six pack. So if I could give advices for anyone who wants to change their body or who is in the process of changing the body, the first thing I could say is just focus on making small changes. Don't think drastically or huge because first of all that puts you straight off. You have to make the small changes that will gradually get you to the bigger change which is more logical. The second thing is focus on making healthy choices. For example I try to eat as healthy as I can from Monday to Saturday. Then I have that one day where I can just eat what I want. But even then, you can do it a different way. A lot of people, they are kind of addicted to food, especially sugary food and junk food. And the only thing I could say for that is, if you go for a packet of crisps and you eat it and you think, okay, I cannot live without that, okay, eat it but then follow it with an apple. Slowly, slowly, you can gradually take away the stimulus. You know what I mean? Another thing, right, as you start going to the gym, you will start to realize that some muscle parts improve better than others. And that's something you will realize and pick up on as you start going to the gym. I know for a fact I have to work more on my calves and my legs. Um, but for example, my chest is pretty good, my back is pretty good. The very last thing I could say that to anyone is consistency. And consistency is shown in anything and everything where you want to get better at, right? So you have to be consistent. And if you're consistent, you will automatically see results. This goes for the gym, but this goes for anything. So be consistent. Thank you for watching guys and um, watch out for my new fitness YouTube channel. I'm joking by the way.